need to really understand how the Cambridge Analytica situation happened. And so the way that it happened is that uh, has actually to do with uh, those uh, apps that you sometimes have used on Facebook or you've seen before, uh, personality quizzes like which Lord of the Rings character are you, or games like Farmville, not specifically Farmville, but similar games. And uh, what happens is that whenever you want to use any of these quizzes, they'll um, ask you for permission to say like, okay, in order to run this quiz, you're going to have to give permission to your uh, uh, friend list or to your pr basic profile and so on. And so a lot of people think that this is normal and they just click and then ask access these apps. And so what Cambridge Analytica did was that they essentially engineered their own versions of these apps uh, with very sort of general, attractive, innocent uh, premises like, okay, find out whether you're more like Spider-Man or Batman or Superman. And a lot of people ended up not only using these applications themselves, but the application would also uh, incentivize these people to, you know, invite your friends to also find out maybe you're both like Batman. And um, then uh, this network effect grew and grew. And then what these apps were doing, uh, aside from telling you whether uh, you're more like Batman or Catwoman, was to actually also harvest your data and uh, essentially garner uh, all of the basic uh, information that you were sharing with the app, uh, build uh, social graphs, uh, relate you to a particular demographic, to a particular circle of friends, to a particular way of life or lifestyle, inferring that information from your Facebook profile, from your uh, age group, uh, gender group, uh, working group, and so on, and uh, siphoning all that information to Cambridge Analytica. And then Cambridge Analytica, whenever it received a client, such as, for example, the Trump campaign, would have that information ready that it had siphoned off from Facebook using these applications. Now, uh, first of all, before I continue, I just want to make something very, very clear, and this is a very important point. This has happened before in many different uh, scenarios. Cambridge Analytica is by far not the only company who has been doing this. 